no matter how your time is spent on the water. Wholesale Marine has the parts and supplies that you need at the price you want. At Wholesale Marine, our associates have over 500 years of combined boating experience to help you make the most of your time on the water. Visit WholesaleMarine.com. Alrighty guys, today we're gonna be hitting the reef and wrecks. So we'll be fishing on the patch reefs to start in 25 feet of water for the big mangrove snappers. We'll get the smaller, medium yellow tail. And then we always have the option to hop out on the deeper reef, which will be about 70 to 90 feet of water. And then that's when we're gonna chum heavier, uh, get the yellow tails up. That's gonna be your, your medium to large yellow tails. And then we go hit the wrecks and then that's gonna be for your groupers, muttons, amberjack, African pompano, stuff like that. There you go, oh, yeah. got pins. Great reef baits, the big mangroves, muttons, love these. But we put the traps like more in like the grass flats area. Uh, down here in the Keys, you know, we put one, you know, a mile offshore, one right next to shore. And you'll get different size baits. We get a lot smaller baits. Being like right in shore, you get out there a little bit further, they tend to be larger. One other thing that you'll like on your uh, Fruno, on your bottom machine, like if I, if I saw like this little mark right here and I liked it, I can just tap it. It'll say new point. I hit new point. Then I get to select whichever I want. I can either do my catch or that one look like fish. And then it's gonna drop it right over here on my machine for me. That's very, very important. Like when you're hitting the reef, which I'll show you today, or getting on the wrecks, you know, you having to run across something, you know, just hit your bottom machine and it's gonna put it right on here. Nice thing is like if I go, oh, you know what? It left the screen. I, I don't know, I, I, wanna, I wanna go back. Well, this has a history. So I can swipe this back like this and go, okay, this is the spot. And there's the spot right there. That's the one I wanted. Hit that and it drops it back on your machine. If you're headed out for a day on the water, make sure you visit Tom Thumb Food Stores. Get your food, drinks, fuel, and ice all in one place. Perfect for your on-the-go Florida lifestyle. Fast, fresh, friendly. Tom Thumb Food Stores. So what I'm gonna do here is, you know, we're gonna put that fortress in the sand. So I'm gonna go up above the reef throw it in the sand so we don't damage the coral, and then we're gonna drift back and then fish over the reef. But I was out here the other day. This is a spot that I marked. These are other spots that I fish, but this is just where we did good, marked up a lot of fish. Seems like here they are again. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna tie the spider hitch with this braid. This is 20 pound braid, and you don't really need a bimini twist for this because you're not gonna have that shock absorption or anything like that. This is a quick double line. This is if I'm gonna fish like my mangroves and I'm gonna put 30 pound leader on there. Take it up here, my tag end, be sticking out of my hand. Got my double line here. And then I'm gonna hold it and I'm gonna form five loops around my thumb. Two, three, four, five, and I'm gonna pinch. I don't wrap it tight because what I'm gonna have to do is take it off my thumb just like that. And then I'm gonna take the tag end or it's not the tag end, the, the loop end, and go away from me. And then I'm gonna pull it slow on the tag end and the main line and watch that knot form up just like that. Now it's a double line and then just pull it tight and then we'll trim the tag end right here so it's close. Now I'm gonna tie line to line. I'm gonna do the double uni so it's kind of just make an X, just cross it right there. And how JC showed you earlier, you're gonna form that loop just like that. It'll look like a six. And then go inside there five times. And pull tight. And then the way I do it, I switch my hands because I want to tie the same way. So I just form that loop so it looks like a six. And we're gonna go inside there five times. I'm gonna pull tight. And then 
I'm gonna pull them both tight and then the knots are gonna join together. So no matter how hard that fish pulls, it, the knot just gets tighter and tighter. Once again, just kind of pinch it right there. There's your tag in, form that loop. Looks like a six. Go inside there, one, two, three, four, five. And then you can lubricate it and then pull it tight. Now we're ready. So we like pinching the tail off right here, and then that gives you a good entry point to feed the bait onto the jig and then kind of just push it up in there so it's gonna lay just like that. Hits the bottom, keep the bail open, and then when they hit, like let them run and then shut it and reel. Yep, there you go. Fish on, fish on. There you go, yeah, there we go. Alrighty guys, get ready in the back. Go ahead and drop. All right, now when you guys get the bite, what you wanna do for this, do not set the hook. All you wanna do is reel to set the hook. Once again, Mono's got 20% stretch. You're not doing anything to that fish. You know, to drive that hook home, you just gotta keep that tension on there. And we're using circle hooks, so you want that hook to find a home right in the corner of his mouth. Jack's on. There's a bite here, let's get him. This is how you set up for a yellowtail. You take your shrimp, you pinch the head off, throw it. Pinch the tail off, throw it. Take your jig or your hook, and you go right in its body. Feed it through like I'm warm, you know? Just push it, mix that curve, and then finish it by putting a, that jig inside there, exposing that hook. And then what you want to do is leave your bail open, take you some of that oats that you made sticky. See how sticky it is? It's already want to make a ball. Take a hand a little bit. Put that shrimp right in there and make the ball. Make it firm. All right, now you got that pretty little ball. Now you're gonna take this line, leave the bail open, and you're gonna wrap it, spinning it as you wrap. See that? You're gonna send this to them, All right? They're gonna be down there. The current is kind of strong. Rip some line out, throw it there, and then keep the rod tip down and just let it flow. Hold it a little bit, let it go a little bit. It's gonna unravel. You don't have them on the surface yet. So this is when you're, they're a little deeper, they're a little further, the current is ripping. Got him on, all right, brother. Nice fish, pull him in. Look at that yellow tail. <laughs> that is exactly what we're talking about. This is what we're looking for. There you go, beautiful fish. What do you think, Jack? <laughs> oh, this is fun. Amazing, it's right? It's a great time. So these, these big flag yellowtails takes a little more time, a little more chumming, but it's very much worth it. If you really want to target the true Florida Keys flags, you got to come out a little deeper, chum a little heavier, do the right stuff, and then you're going to get paid off with these amazing eating fish. Absolutely. We appreciate this. We'll catch something Let's else. do it, brother. <laughs> All right, 
Get ready in the back, throw your baits far. There you go, thumb the spool. There we go, just like that. Let it drop, five and five. One, two, three, four, five. You stop it for five seconds. You keep doing that until you reach bottom. Why do we do that? Because that leader's so long, it's gonna wrap around itself if you let it go too fast. This gives it a chance to not tangle on itself. Got him on. Good job, that's a nice king. Good job, brother. So we drop these back lines first, so that way they're already out behind the boat, gives us space to drop that middle one, and then these guys in the front flip it forward, so by the time it sinks, it's underneath the boat. Everybody's away from each other, but we're all able to fish and not get tangled up. That's the whole idea, to have most lines in and greater the chance of catching some big fish. Coming to you. Yeah! Oh, it's an Elmaco. Woohoo! All right, good job. What you got? Bonita or King? At Connolly 150. This is a used one. You can see it's already got some marks on it. It's my lucky one. So when you jig, you're covering the whole entire uh, water column. You start right on the floor and then you jig your way up. So it's a good way to cover every depth of the water column to target uh, different species and have a successful day. No matter how your time is spent on the water, Wholesale Marine has the parts and supplies that you need at the price you want. At Wholesale Marine, our associates have over 500 years of combined boating experience to help you make the most of your time on the water. Visit WholesaleMarine.com. So here, we got a 10-foot cast net. We're gonna take our coils here and just make a bunch of coils until we get to the net. And we're gonna come to the horn here, which this is. We're gonna grab right under the horn and we're gonna stretch the net out. Once we got the net stretched out, I'm gonna reach to my pocket, grab here, and then I'm gonna reach here, just, under, just over my knee. I'm gonna grab it here again, how I just did. I'm gonna take this lead line that's closest to my left hand, and I'm gonna flip it one time. And that's all I'm gonna need to put under my shoulder under and over to my right shoulder. I'm gonna take this inside lead line, put it over my shoulder. I'm gonna take the inside lead line here from the inside I just put on my shoulder and take my, my loop. I'm gonna take like 50% of this, the one I have left over, I'm gonna do half and half and now I'm ready to throw. And you're gonna have to pinch this lead line with your pointer finger and your thumb, because that's the last thing you're gonna let go. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swing it, come up, back, and once I get the motion going, I'm gonna let it go. So this is what I'm gonna do. Opens every time. Yeah. Use the anchor trusted by professionals. Fortress anchors are designed lighter, set faster, and provide stronger holding power than the competition. For the best value in anchoring safety and convenience, use the legendary Fortress Anchor.